longtime Seminole booster impresario and Tiger Bay funny man, Charlie Barnes. Charlie, where are you at? Come on. Thank you, sir. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow members of Tiger Bay, you have already heard the tragic news that the laughing stock, our friends, have rendered their final performance. We wanted to create a tribute to this noble troop, and so tonight we would like to present to you a sad eulogy. With apologies to both Mr. Gilbert and Mr. Sullivan, and to the entire cast of the HMS Pinafore, here is a story of a young man who wanted nothing more in this life than to become a member of the Laughing Stock, and whose dream was shattered and broken by the cruelty of show business and possibly the culture of crime and corruption in our capital city. <laughs> Would you please welcome the Tiger Bay Ensemble, named by the special counsel as the Unindicted Co-Conspirators. <laughs> And also, would you please recognize our distinguished pianist, Stephanie Tasso. Isn't this wonderful? So many of us believed that the only time we'd ever hear a public official sing was in front of a grand jury. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, whenever you're ready. Scintillating music of the laughing stock. I came to the meetings and I clapped real loud and I added my approval to the happy crowd. Yeah, approval to the happy crowd. I cherished the dream that I might be allowed to interact with such a company. Cherished the dream that he might be allowed participation in the company. Decided what was best for me was to ask to audition for the company. I didn't know who to try and replace the older white guy or the kid who sings bass. The older white guy or the kid who sings bass. I have great talent, I do more than sing like that red headed woman who explains everything. He has no talent, he's dumb as a rock.
just wish real hard and don't be shocked and pray for resurrection of the laughing stock. Just wish them well, we'll miss them a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. 